Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am straight chilling in some PJs today. I do not even care. I'm not even gonna lie, I woke up a little hungover. I don't know if that's really the word to describe it. Zach and I finally got a legitimate night out. So I had two drinks and that was enough to do me in. I had to go home. It's about noon right now. I'm just now having my coffee. This morning was insane because in this area, the power went out and it was super, super early. And I had a brunch date with one of my girlfriends super, super early in the morning. So I basically couldn't get ready. I was freaking out right as I was jumping in the shower. It did come back on though, thank God. But I didn't have any coffee in the morning. So I feel a little bit off my keel today. Say hi, Smush. Say hi. Angel baby. Angel baby. Okay. Throughout the week, I told you guys that we'd be doing a little Q&A or assumptions about me video this week. And you guys sent in some questions on Instagram. So today I'm going to answer all of your assumptions and questions. I think I'm going to start out with the not really negative, I guess. Um, I want this video to definitely end on a good note, so I'm gonna start there. So I'm gonna start with, you think you need Botox and lip filler? No, I don't. I never was really even insecure with my lips. Um, I just thought it would be cool to get them done and I got them done, just kind of wanted to do it. <laughs> Um, Botox, I just didn't even really know much about it. I knew what Botox was, I just didn't know about Botox. And my injector was running a special on lip filler and Botox, and that's why I got Botox in the first place, the first time I ever went. Low key, I really, really love the Botox more than I ever thought I would. My mom has always gotten Botox. You can't even tell, but what I noticed when I did get it was that my skin's overall texture really does improve and it cuts my headaches in a half. I just don't get migraines. I don't get headaches. It's amazing. Also, what I really want to do here soon is get Botox injected in um, my jaw in that little joint because it helps with TMJ and I have TMJ so bad. Like literally you put your hand on my chin and I go like this and it clicks so bad. The next assumption is you're not that into politics or religion. So I am. Um, these are things that I just don't wanna talk about on YouTube. You know, it's important to vote. It's important to be an active part of your community, things like that. That being said, I will not ever discuss it on YouTube or social media for a couple reasons. One, I made this channel for entertainment. I have always felt like I could do something in entertainment no matter what it was. And I personally don't like seeing religion and politics mixed into entertainment at all. Um, it makes me kind of sad when I see like my favorite singer or actor sharing things online about who they're voting for or whatever because I just don't want to know. I just, I just don't. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's because I disagree with them, I just, I just don't care. And I think your preference as far as anyone's religion or political views just really aren't anyone else's business. So if you followed me because you wanted me to say something about politics or religion, just go ahead and head out of here. I won't even go there. I want to keep this page and this channel strictly for entertainment purposes only. Everything else literally has religion or politics mixed into it. And I want this to be the one place where you can come and feel like none of that even really exists. It doesn't matter. This is entertainment time. Okay, next one is juicy. It is how different is sex after having a baby? <sighs> okay, so right after I gave birth, I just didn't even want to think about having sex. Reaching my hand down there after giving birth and just feeling what everything felt like was a huge mistake. It never should have done that because it just terrified me. But I think we got into that six weeks or maybe a little bit before. Do whatever your doctor recommends. But I think we maybe didn't wait the full six weeks. It was just a stressful experience, at least for me. Things didn't hurt, nothing hurt. I think I was just uncomfortable, so that did make it a little bit uncomfortable in general. But over time, I think it maybe has gotten better. 
um, than it was like before, maybe. I feel more comfortable with my body. I feel like, I think sex is just a little bit more enjoyable now than it was before I had a baby. Another one about, about babies. You got pregnant and got big titties. I reworded that because one of my friends asked me that question. Um, yeah, yes and no. I got pregnant and I did get big boobs like when I was pregnant because they were just basically so engorged. But now they are, this one's normal and this one's just saggy as <laughs> I mean, seriously, my right boob was my champion boob. <laughs> this one was the slacker boob. This one is definitely, you can just feel it's a little, there's like no elastin or collagen or whatever in my skin because it's just been sucked. The skin is all loose just been it's like a deflated balloon yeah it's it's a little I need coffee coffee break do you ever miss going out as a regular 21 22 year old yes and no so I didn't really go out much when I didn't have a baby, I don't think at least. I'm a homebody for sure, but things were easier when I didn't have a baby. Definitely didn't have to carry around a diaper bag full of treats and toys and everything was a little easier. Well, everything was a lot easier. I don't really miss nightlife. I miss being able to go to the mall for like four hours, somewhere else for a few hours afterwards, but now it's just kind of you know, oh, we have to get home for a nap or we have to get home for bedtime. Can't really Uber if I wanted to stay for a drink or something. The ability to just kind of do whatever, whenever, that's more what I miss. So yeah, yes and no. Did having a baby cause you and your man to fight more? <sighs> yes and no. Being new parents is stressful, especially when you're sleep deprived, especially when you're learning each other's parenting methods. Um, Zach and I are extremely different. We were brought up extremely different. And I think sometimes that's a little bit of a struggle, but I think we get to the point, like if we are arguing and if it does heat up, it kind of does end a lot faster than it would have before. I think at the end of the day, we really do love each other. We just want what's best for our son and honestly for each other. Our communication can be really shitty because he's a Capricorn, I'm a Scorpio. We're just a very odd pairing and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it takes a little extra effort. Sometimes we forget that it has to be 50-50. I think it's definitely a work in progress. I think it always will be. We're showing up for each other though and that's what matters. We're navigating through new parenting, navigating through growing up together because we're still so young and we've had to learn a lot of tough lessons together for sure, but we're still here and this is three years now. <laughs> How did you and Zach meet? <laughs> Okay, this story is so weird. No judgment, please. So my dad was dating Zach's aunt and for his aunt's 50th birthday party, my dad threw a big leg houseboat party. I came with my brother, Zach came with his family and his girlfriend at the time. Pretty much the moment I saw him, I like, <laughs> They had came on a boat to pick me up at the ramp and he was walking up to kind of help me unload. And I just remember we looked at each other and it was just, we were done for, honestly. He said I met him like in passing previously and I don't remember that at all really. I think I was drunk, but uh, yeah, I that weekend was pretty tough. Um, our chemistry was pretty undeniable and he ended up breaking up with his girlfriend for me, um, yeah. A little awkward, but now we're three years together and have a little baby smush. I think it ended up working out for the best, probably for everyone. Okay, moving on. Next one is you have really bad baby fever and you guys already have baby number two's name picked out. <coughs> no, I don't have baby fever, but I do. I kind of do. I get baby fever when I look at Callan and I realize how big he is and I miss tiny, tiny baby, that gives me baby fever. Also seeing siblings, little siblings interact gives me baby fever, but I just don't think it's our time. Our house is a little small. I don't think it's our time yet. I think if we were to try and have a baby or if we had baby fever, it'd be rushing it. Definitely do not have a name picked out with Callan. I just kind of came up with it. I think I was like six months pregnant or seven months, somewhere around there. But yeah, no, I have some ideas, but 
I'm pretty sure next time around, I'm gonna have a girl. I just know it's gonna happen. I think I want a boy, but I'm just gonna get a girl and I, it's, it is what it is. Not mad about it, but kind of am because now that I have a boy, I just only want boys. Like I just wanna be a boy mom all the way. I just know in my heart that baby number two is going to be a girl, so. Definitely looking out for girl names, <laughs> just to keep in mind when the time comes. I think maybe that will be in the next two years, year and a half, I don't know. I want them to be pretty close in age, nothing crazy, but I definitely want to enjoy my calendar time and I think Zach's on the same page. <laughs> Zach's approach is more the financial side and the financial aspect of everything. So yeah, I think we'll wait a little bit. What are your current makeup favorites? If you want to see any of my current makeup faves, I will be doing a fall favorites video. It'll have some makeup, regular home decor, all different kinds of stuff in that video. I'm gonna try and get that up next week as well as planning Callan's first birthday. Oh my God, I cannot believe I just said that. Yeah, I'm planning his first birthday and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you how I'm planning it and what I'm doing. Look out for those two videos coming up here very soon. Last one, how many babies do you want? I think two is gonna be our magic number, but I also don't want to <laughs> say anything. It's totally up to the man upstairs, um, but I think Aiming for two or three, no more than three. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Simple and sweet. I hope you guys liked it. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to give this a like and a comment down below. Also make sure you subscribe so you're notified when I post the videos I was talking about today. But as always, it was a pleasure. Thanks for spending your Monday with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.